Somewhere in this beautiful, vast blue earth lives some dingleberry encrusted stuck to one of your unforgiving butt hairs, releasing more upon more cringy as hell videos. This fella, by the username I'm J Station, assumes that like he, those who stumble upon his videos have maybe about three active brain cells firing up at any given time, and this lovely fellow on his last working brain cell decided it would be quite something to go out with an absolute bang. And I'd love to share this because I would love to hear your thoughts, your opinions, maybe uh, your chuckles, your confusion, because um, I'm just like, do y'all do y'all see this? <laughs> do we really live under the same planet, us and this fella? I don't know. I don't know what he's what he expects out of doing all the stupid stuff that he does, but like I said, he fires up his last remaining brain cell to pull some dead girlfriend. I, I wouldn't say prank, but he really, really tried to uh, lie to the internet about his his girlfriend dying for clout. It's truly the most 2020 thing I've ever said. It's only been a short amount of time, you know, it's only February, but really blows my mind. <laughs> truly that people can be this spectacular. So I had actually already recorded about this fella and I full on reacted to all his first three videos about the subject, but more has developed that's unsurprising. So I'm just gonna go for it again in one big sweep, cover it all. And like, I don't know if I should be like disappointed or like amused. I don't know. It's kind of somewhere in between both. So this genius, this absolute genius starts off in his first video in his room like fake crying you know when you're like you got like the fa facial expression and like your face is red from like contorting it so hard but there's like no tears not to say that you can't cry without tears I've been there but like you can kind of tell you know what I'm saying and he's like apparently like unsure where tears come from I don't know if he's just like never experienced true human emotions like empathy or remorse so he's uh gotta try to blend in with other humans by wiping his face, but he kind of misses the mark and wipes his eyebrows, which is absolutely something else. So he goes on to say in an overdramatic way, you guys, we lost her, she's gone. And listen, my dear friends, people grieve in different ways and sometimes people are very weird and strange about how they process grief. Sometimes people are like way too calm, sometimes people really overreact, sometimes like in intense stress or trauma or shock, you might like laugh when it's definitely not a laughing matter. And don't get me wrong, this fella doesn't laugh or anything like that, but he definitely like is like putting on a show and it's kind of obvious. It's like too much. You know what I'm saying? Like if I were to tell you, say, a family member of mine passed away, like let's say uh, I'm gonna make one up, like an Uncle Randy. I would deliver it like, I hate to say this, but Uncle Randy has passed. He's no longer with us and I'm really upset about it. I don't, I don't know how to process this, but he's just like, oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe it. She's not with us anymore. Blah blah blah. Car accident. Like it, it's like he's trying to act, but he's not good at it. So you just kind of sit back, arms across, like yeah. What's up, guys? I never wanted to make a video like this ever, but last night. Last night, we lost Alexia <laughs> to a drunk driver, guys. So anyways, this sarcophagus having fool busts out another video in which he's with a friend and they're driving to the location, supposedly, of where she got into a car accident and died at. Or they go up to this ch shrine they made for her and it's, oh my god. Not only is he really putting up a show, but his friend, like, recording is too. But the person recording just, like, isn't as good at it. <laughs> And it just like makes it worse and more cringy. And I'm like, you might have convinced me with that first video, but with the second one, I'm like, all right, bro, you are you are definitely trying to profit off of this. What's up, guys? I just got off the phone with Alexia's parents. They had set up a memorial on the side of the road for Alexia. So right now, me and Ahmed are just on our way to that location. And we're gonna say our last goodbyes to Alexia. I bought her these roses. Oh my 
my god, this is... And I don't know where exactly she passed away, but it should be around here. I'm getting so emotional just being on this road. I, if I cry again, I might cry again. I think we passed it. I think we might have passed it. Are you sure it was this road? Wait, I what? think I might see it. Oh, there's lights over there. Is that it? Yeah, bro, I think that might be it. Is that it right there? It's okay, man. Everything's gonna be okay. It's okay, Jay. Bro, <laughs> let's just go say the final goodbye for her. my house look at her she was always so happy always so happy I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to post videos like regular but it's, it's just not gonna be the same without her guys links gonna be in the description guys I know she would have wanted it <sighs> to be on that channel see you guys in the next one also forgot to mention a, a really huge <laughs> Really huge banger from the first one. I don't remember if he talks about it in the second one, but he's like, it was her dream to hit 1 million subscribers on her second channel. Go hit that subscribe button, guys. It's what she would have wanted. And I'm like, <laughs> brother, are you fucking serious? Wait, I need a second. Last night around 11 p.m., I got a call from her parents. You know, we had a channel together called Dream Team. We just hit three hundred thousand subscribers her, her dream was just to get a million subscribers after talking with her parents we both agreed that I should post the remainder videos that we filmed for that channel on that channel it was her it was her dream to get a million subscribers. So the funny thing is, is after he posts that, they went from 300,000 to 400,000, nowhere close to a million. And after the very obvious severe backlash, he deletes his videos. But it's like, come on. She really wanted that video to get to a million subscribers or talk to her parents. We, we, th we think this is the best thing. Get off my back. Get out of here. It's just so ridiculous. It's like, how much of a crusty spectacle of poo do you have to be to go, hey y'all, blank person died. There's nothing more on this earth that they'd want. Nothing more. Not your sweet loving embrace. Not your support and acceptance. She wants a subscribe count, a number she'll never see, and some dollar signs. Give me some money, boys! It's just out of this world. It's so, like, with each video that's posted on the internet, each post, every, every interaction on Twitter or Instagram, we stray further and further from God's light. <laughs> oh my god, it's just so bad. So, so people were saying, so let me back this train up a moment actually. You may recall this fella a little bit ago getting a bit of backlash because he thought it was the right thing to do to make a 3 a.m. challenge video in which he tries to summon Etika with a Ouija board. And for context, if you are unaware, Etika is a, or was, a YouTuber social media presence who started suffering from mental illness that went untreated for too long and unfortunately he ended his own life so our our best bud Jason over here decides what better way to snag some several million views than to try to summon Etika from the dead and try to learn the truth or so 
some stupid bullshit. A whole bunch of YouTubers covered it, but either way, he that's what he does. He does these stupid 3 a.m. challenge videos, usually with like Ouija boards or whatever, and it's just really like one of the most insensitive topics I think I've seen on YouTube. And there's a lot, but this dude is like the crusty scrape from underneath your dirty toes. Like, ugh. he is the goo you squeeze off the back of your pierced ears. Smells like earring backs, motherfucker. Just, just an unpleasant fella. He was one of those YouTubers that I personally wouldn't bother <laughs> engaging in. And honestly, there's not much by him I've actually ever heard of. It's just, he crossed into my peripheral during the whole Etika thing and he came back into my peripheral again, but a little bit more severely, pulling some straight up like Logan Paul Suicide Forest shit. I'm like, are y'all seeing this? <laughs> are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? And it's like, I don't know, I'm somewhere in between like, like, no fucking way and being like nope it's real it's real and I, I'm like does he know that he's a douchebag or does he like genuinely just not know you know what I'm saying but either way he decides of course to upload a full-on freaking 3 a.m. challenge Ouija board someone in my girlfriend gone wrong kind of video and it just seems like overtly fake and over-the-top scripted like Jake and Logan Paul cringe fake like blech. and it makes me like deep down in my soul wonder like who is watching his stuff like who like all the videos of his that i i saw regarding this topic they're re-uploads because i'm not giving this motherfucker my views but there's people out there watching his stuff and like the best assumption i got is they're all nine like i don't know like i cannot handle youtubers like that it's just annoying as absolute hell and like he's not doing anything interesting i'm like he's gotta have nine-year-old viewers but then i don't know how he's getting like monetized or not having his stuff taken down because didn't they just tighten their grip on kid channels or am I mistaken? But either way, it's the yikes for me. So, of course, he eventually comes out with like some really dumb apology and since then I guess the girlfriend has come out and said it's all him and then he's come out saying it's all her, some, some stupid shit, they deleted the second channel, it's just an absolute mess. Which I mean it's obvious, right? <laughs> like, no one's surprised. But what I'm wondering is what is going on in his noggin? Cause there's no way, there's no way that he thought nothing bad would come from this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of when I was a kid, I thought taking away my little sister's stocking and putting coal in it would be a good idea because it would teach her a lesson not to be shitty and be kind to others and all that. But instead I got screamed at in front of everyone. Pretty much like ruined Christmas. Like it, it, I'm, it's not my job obviously to make those kinds of decisions or pass judgment on, on my sister. It's not my job. I shouldn't have done it but it's kind of like that it's like what what did you think is gonna happen that everyone's gonna feel sorry for you and like subscribe brother come on i don't know if it's really like appropriate to say or like super related but like i feel like this fella comes across as a little insecure you know what i'm saying like he's gotta try extra hard to be a cool dude he kind of strikes me as somebody who like definitely got bullied as a kid like a lot of us do but like just did not take it very well and didn't move on from it very well you know what i'm saying so now he's got to be the cool dude you know in his adult life like i don't know it just seems a little his life just seems unfortunate but either way what are you what are your guys's theories with this fella like do you think he seriously didn't think he'd get the lashback that he did or do you think it's all just like on purpose like he knew that he would definitely get away with doing some stupid stuff and all it would do is boost his stats because that's what always happens let's be realistic like with the paul brothers drama and everything like that after they did all this stupid stuff and got all this backlash they might have lost a deal here or there or whatever but they still like they weren't knocked off their pedestals as far as i'm aware i think he probably thinks he's one of those people that's like any publicity is good publicity but this fella seriously on camera faked his girlfriend's death cried quote unquote went on this whole spiel got his followers involved got even strangers on the internet calling police stations and etc you know local to where he and his girlfriend and what have you were i don't know got in her quote unquote car accident none of it's real he was claiming that he has a warrant for his arrest that's not real according to police so it's all just a bunch of bs Yes. Super cringy. My question is, is this allowed? 
Is he really allowed to be posting shit like that? I just, I don't get it. That's my hot take. It's a big shrug from here. Well, anyways, this dude's just a butt crumb. So if he continues doing what he does, he's not going to be in my peripheral. I don't really care. It's too cringy. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what yours are. Sorry for a really short video. I've been a busy bee. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you and bye.